following problems asks us to find the equation of a line given a slope and a point. To do this, we always use the formula y equals mx plus b. You could use the point slope formula, but I in general um, teach to use y equals mx plus b. Uh, the first thing to do is always insert your slope into this equation. You know the slope, and our goal here is to find m and b. So we know m, so let's put it into the equation. And then, the way this, the theory of this, the way this works is, y equals 2x, uh, 2 thirds x plus b has to make the point 1, 5 true. So we substitute that point in to find out what we need for b to be for it to be true. So we put 5 for y because it's the y coordinate, 1 for x because the x. Then you get 5 equals uh, 2 thirds plus b because 2 thirds times 1 is 2 thirds. Then we subtract 2 thirds from both sides. 5 minus 2 thirds, well, uh, you can either do it uh, using common denominators or just understand that if you take away two thirds from one, you got one third left, so it's four and one third. So now we know the slope is two thirds, and we know that b is four and one third, so we have enough information to write out the line. It is y equals two thirds x plus four and one third. We're going to do the exact same thing on the second problem. We're going to insert our slope into there first. So we're going to do y equals a negative three x plus b. And again, the goal is going to be how can I find this y intercept? Well, because that has to make uh, any point on the line make that equation true, we plug that point in for x and y, and we go solve for b. So 0 is the y coordinate, 5 is the x, so you have 0 equals negative 3 times 5 plus b, while negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. So 0 equals negative 15 plus b. Add 15 to both sides, and you end up with um, y equals negative, th or you end up with b equals 15. So y-intercept is 15, slope is negative 3, so our answer is y equals negative 3x plus 15.